the art initiative in Watkinsville was started in about 2006 with the adoption of the slogan, The Artland of Georgia. And this was done because from where I'm sitting at this time, there's some 30 to 40 potters who are working, who work daily there, that wears a soul uh, all across the southeast. Uh, OCAF has had a great influence on the city of Watkinsville and its art initiative. It's, it's been a very valued partner in all of this. Uh, you can see partially the display behind me uh, demonstrating the art land of Georgia. We started moving forward about two years ago when we realized that we, we said we were the art land of Georgia, but we really hadn't brought that slogan to fruition. So we appointed a committee, and we started to move forward with statuary and with art boards. And, and that's where we are today. And we have a committee that is working on a daily basis to improve and add to what we have done. One of the reasons that we were able to move forward as rapidly with the new art initiative as we did was the cooperation of OCAF, the Oconee Cultural Arts Foundation. It's very important if you're going to do a project of this nature that you have an entree into the art community because they have the contacts that you're going to need when you put out a call for statuary, art boards, or any other art object. Uh, it's like everything else. You need to know the person that has it or that can do it. We were fortunate with uh, working in partnership with OCAF to get two grants of $5,000 each for the new program. One was to the city for the statuary that is displayed now, and one was to OCAF for the art boards there's some, uh, we refurbished, I believe, six art boards uh, that were done earlier, I think in the 2006-2007 uh, era, and then we added an additional eight as well as the statues. But you, you just need that connection to the art uh, community because they have the art that you need. If you don't have those connections, then I'd say it's going to be very, very difficult. And, of course, that connection helped us with the Art Council of Georgia grant funds. This sculpture is called The Hands of Respect. It weighs some 12,000 pounds. Stan Mullis, who is the artist, was commissioned to build this piece for the Beijing Olympics. But due to shipping problems in red tape, the statue never made it to the Olympics. Some months ago, when we put out our call for art, Stan was kind enough to ask us if we would like to have this statue for a minimum period of six months. And we certainly did. This is what you see today. It's more than eight feet tall, some six feet wide. It's valued at $120,000. Stan is a working artist, a member of OCAF in the Athens area. We're very much pleased to have this piece on display here. Scopa the replica of an angel trumpet plant by Johnny Yunkins John is a nine, nine feet tall, believe it or not, depiction of a trumpet plant that she saw out her window as she was washing dishes. She thought it would be really neat to do this, so with steel mandrels, a little bit of wire, some fiberglass, uh, you have what you see here, a gigantic flower. This is Ben Locke's rocker, and it really does rock. Before we bolted it to this slab that you see it fastened to, I was able to stand on the cross pieces and rock back and forth. It's probably the world's fastest rocking chair because you really have to hold on. Ben is an art teacher at the University of North Georgia a branch, which is here in near Watkinsville, and we cooperate with UNG, along with OCAF, and there are studios that are on the OCAF campus here in Watkinsville. So we're pleased that, that they're engaged in the community, and hopefully the community is engaging more fully with them. This is object of one. Looks like a pile of scrap iron. But with the proper perspective, you see the face of a lady. 
out of the statuary that we've talked about and installed here, this is the most difficult one. Its perspective must be ideal in order for you to have a vision of the lady's face. Took all afternoon to put this one in. We're very pleased to have it. It's been shown in several other places across the state. It'll be with us for a period of six months. Perhaps we will have it even longer because it has attracted as much attention, in fact, in many cases, more attention than any other piece of statuary we have here because it is so unique. It looks as though Mr. Massey took a pile of scrap iron and threw it all together and made something wonderful with it. I don't exactly remember the artist of Billy Button, but it's one of my favorite pieces because of the variety of color that he has incorporated in it. People remark on it all the time as they walk by. Again, this is a person who is engaged as part of the OKF art program that has been so beneficial to the city of Watkinsville and its citizens. This is Artist Extraordinary by the University of North Georgia art students. We have a branch of UNG here in the Watkinsville area. They were kind enough as part of their studies to paint this. They tell me that these individuals are some of the caricatures of the folks that painted it, but we recognize some artists as we look at it that have painted over the years. This particular board is unique in that it is two-sided. We are really enjoying our relationship with OCAS and thusly with the University of North Georgia in their art department. Just an example of what these folks are capable of doing. These are faces that if you went to the art department of UNG, you might recognize, although I doubt very seriously if this young lady would be using the red eyeliner, but it's just an example of how creative and how unique these young folks are. This is one of my favorites. It's done by Charles Blair and the students at Whitehead Road Elementary School. I like this one uh, because it's so colorful. And the cow, I've never seen a yellow cow with a black head, I don't think, and a white face, but it really doesn't matter because after all, it's art, and it's quite well done and attracts the eye. Art is alive and well in Northeast Georgia, and particularly in Watsonville. This is Chick on Board by Sal Lee. Notice the nice barnwood accent here. The chickens with the long legs, tiny chickens, long legs, good color. Uh, the folks that did these things were very cooperative, and worked really, really hard. And in doing so, we got some really great art boards. We tried to involve as many people in the art community and in the community in general in this project as we possibly could. And thankfully, many were very interested in helping. June Ball did this particular art board. Miss June, rather than selecting something uh, a little bit different as some of the artists have done, chose a pastoral scene from the Simonson Bridge Road about three and a half miles from where I'm standing. Indeed, its title is Simonson Bridge Road. Another example of a very, very good landscape, a very large landscape, but it's very pretty, has nice color. I, I particularly like the sky with the rendition uh, of the clouds. Uh, this lady is a participating member of OCAF and continues to support us in Watkinsville in our art efforts. This is to death through us part by Amanda McKay. You know, we're told that William Tell put an arrow through an apple. This young lady is much better than that. She can put an arrow through a strawberry and did it quite well. Good color, eye attracting. Another example of a fine artist that in Northeast Georgia and associated with OCAF and the art community. One of the advantages of having a strong art program is it helps to develop your tourist industry. At the same time, while that development is going on, it engages the citizenry, the people that live here with the artist it teaches them about art. Art is like, it's like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder. So if you like it, it's art. If you don't like it, it might not be art. 
but it's very, very beneficial. We have seen through our connections with OCAF the value of having people come in to view our artwork. It's not by chance that we're known as the Artland of Georgia. We have about 30 artists that work in the area on a regular basis, most of which are potters. Perspectives is an art show and sale hosted each year by the Oconee Cultural Arts Foundation. This show is very, very valuable to the citizens of Watkinsville and to artists in the area and indeed across the southeast. Sales are usually very brisk. The 6,500 pieces of pottery within perspectives, all of which are for sale. You can find some unique pieces. You can find ordinary pieces. You can find some very functional cookware. Perspectives is a highlight of the Oconee Cultural Arts Foundation year and a bonus to have that show in sale within the city of Watkinsville. We'd be happy to tell you more about it. Just you can contact us at Watkinsville City Hall or through the Georgia Municipal Association.